Hello everyone, I am Pindilin Lovru and I am a project coordinator here at the Tabombegi Foundation. And today we are talking personal mastery and I'm so excited. The reason why I'm so excited to talk about personal mastery today is because when I was doing my first year, I wish someone told me about personal mastery. What is it? Practically, what does it look like? I like to say, before you can start thinking about changing the world, saving the world, start by healing, empowering, and knowing yourself first. It really means that you have nothing to prove. It's all about you, right? How to improve, how to do better than yesterday. How to compete against yourself. How to always do your personal best. Difficult in a space like this. It's so competitive, but I love it. It's the best university there is. Okay, I'm a bit biased, I'm from Ritz, but right? You've made it this far. You're here now. How can you use personal mastery to save yourself from the unnecessary drama, pressure, and anxiety? And I really think personal mastery can be that thing for you. So a bit more about myself, right? And my journey. I was in first year and people kept telling me it's about to be the best time of my life. It's about to be the best chapter of my life. And to be honest, I didn't believe them because I was so anxious. Did I make the right decision to be at WITS? Um, choosing the degree that I did. Choosing the subject that I did. Was I even going to pass? I was nervous, anxiety stricken, but things changed. All thanks to personal mastery. So fast forward semesters down the line and the squad, my friends, whom which I sat next to when I was choosing my subjects, consulting. Should I do this? Should I do that? My squad, whom I sat next to when we were deciding extra activities that we are going to do. Should we join politics? Should we, should we, should we do knitting classes? Should we do karate? Should we join the cheerleading squad? And that squad, few semesters down the line, was not as solid as, as it was. Some friends decided to quit along the way. Some decided to pivot and go on to a different path. Some had to, you know, pause and really understand what is it that they actually want from this entire bit experience. Some eventually managed to catch up, but it was different for all of us. And that's what personal mastery is about. It's about you. It's about you and only you. It's not about, you know, competing with your friends. It's not, it's not going to be the same for everyone because the journey to, to success is a long journey. You know, it's got challenges, it's got storms. It's not linear, it's not simple. Okay, I'm just gonna get into vid study and pass and then I'm gonna get a job. No, you're going to be met with so many challenges as you really, you know, um, live and, and, and get to experience this vid. You are going to fall. But personal mastery is not about not falling. It's about making sure that you get up, regardless of the number of times you fall. It's about making that decision to be better than how you were yesterday. It's about really spending time with yourself, understanding who you are. And I think that's a difficult one. And I know people watching this, they're probably there saying, ah, but I know who I am. Who is she telling me I need to know myself? I know myself. And that's, that's what I thought. I thought I knew myself, right? And to, to, to be honest, I knew parts of myself, you know, I wasn't completely wrong, but there's so much to learn as, as you live life. There's so much to discover. And most of us never take the time to pause, reflect, and really listen and say, hmm, I didn't know that about myself. Hmm, I actually don't like that. I actually wanna explore that. We'd never, actually take the time to discover ourselves and that's the key to personal mastery because how are you going to master your life if you don't know who you are what are you what are you mastering
the first thing is spend more time alone i'm not saying don't be with your friends like i said i had my squad right but spend more time alone sometimes choose to study alone choose to relax and unwind alone because when you are in that space of silence or peace you will be able to hear your thoughts right you will be able to reflect you'll be able to plan you'll be able to really discover who you are and for me knowing who you are is 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 is, is paramount right because you know exactly what makes you tick you will know exactly what are your triggers what makes you actually you know slip into depression or or make you feel overwhelmed you will know all these things about yourself simply because you spend time with yourself and a lot of us don't like spending time with ourselves because it's just awfully awkward it's too silent it's too boring but i'm encouraging you today to start enjoying your own company read a book alone listen to music alone take naps alone visualize your life after vids on your own see what that does for your self-awareness absolutely crucial absolutely crucial the next thing i'm going to encourage you to do is explore try different things and i know academics are crucial <laughs> that's the reason why you made it to vit because you were a high flyer you know you were excelling academically but i want to challenge you to actually look at learning in a holistic you know point of view work really hard academics are important push yourself learn ask questions consult put in the hours you know do what you need to do for you to you know to academically excel at bits but don't neglect things that make your soul smile Make your soul smile. Go and explore the different clubs and societies that are available and just try them out. Try them out for a semester, try them out for a block, try different things. Because when you are always going to be focusing on academics, you are not giving your brain enough time to process. You're not giving your brain enough time to regroup, to digest what, you know, it's just taken in. Take time to do activities that will get your heart racing, you know, explore different things this is the only time you'll get to start something and, and and not make it into a career you know take up that sport and see how it just makes you feel this is the time where you can because trust me you don't want to be doing that at 30. Mm. so do it now while you can you can afford to not make every single move a career move this is the time explore different things be busy, be holistic, be whole. Don't be a linear person. You are not your marks. You are you. Figure out who you are. Figure out who you are. And how you do this, you explore. Because when you're exploring, you get to decide, actually, I don't like that. I definitely don't like that. And that's it. That's, that's one thing ticked off, right? Now you know what you don't want to do. You know what you don't enjoy. And you try something else. And you try something else. And you try something else. Before you know it, you have gained all these skills, right? You have, you have ticked off so many things in a bucket list that you can, you know, create while you're at Vits. You have built all these relationships all because you decided to go out of your comfort zone and try different things. So rest, take time to rest. read books not just any books books history books don't leave the students who are studying history to know history because 
here's the thing about history history is so important it allows you to know exactly who you are or in fact it allows you to know who you were before the rest of the world and society told you who you should be here's the thing about history it tells you how we conquered and survived slavery colonialism it tells you what our leaders had to endure so that you can be free today i believe history i believe knowing your history is like a tree that knows its roots because a tree without roots can't be fruit right the tree gets its strength from its roots so if you don't know your roots where are you going and the awesome thing is you don't have to wait until you are a history student to know your history information is all around you and as a person who works at the Tabambegi Foundation I know this for sure because we are building the Tabambegi Presidential Library where we are creating a home filled with history you will know who you are at a cellular level simply because of the information that's going to be at this presidential library why why leaders took the decisions that they did how did we overcome the way we did why it took us so long what lessons can we learn because when you know your past you are able to understand why your present day looks the way it does and Perhaps you can use things you have learned from the past to, to make a better future. Please don't leave it to the students studying history. Absolutely important. Because let's face it, as Africans, we stand at the shoulders of giants. People who died, endured so much, were humiliated, were stripped from everything, their dignity, everything, so that you and I can be here today and call ourselves Vitsis, right? It came at a price. And perhaps when you know the price, we will feel less entitled, but we will also work even harder so that the future is better for those who come after us. We'll take on the better. So know your history, know your history. I will challenge you to take it a step further to say, know your history, but also help us build institutions that keep our history alive. Because why should we try to be like the rest when we can just be ourselves, right? So you can do this by buying a brick. Help us build the Tabon Begi Presidential Library, which will have so much information and knowledge around who we are as Africans. Let's go back to who we were. Let's go back to the center. Let's rebuild our dignity, our self-confidence so that we can be self-reliant. Right? So, personal mastery. It's about you. Not your friend or the other person that you envy and want to be like. No. It's about you. Doing your best putting your best foot forward, saying, how can I improve? How can I be better? Personal mastery is about understanding that for you to have any sort of positive contribution in society, you have, you must, you must know yourself, build yourself, empower yourself. Those around. Being your best to inspire those around you so that you can eventually be able to change your society, to empower and propel this beautiful continent forward. Remember to buy a brick and be your best. We challenge young people in South Africa to join us. To never forget the power of education and knowledge. We challenge young people to never forget the power of history. It is when we can appreciate and learn from history that we can redefine who we are and be the owners of our destinies. So it's important to understand the nature of what would be in this library of this kind. It has to be an instrument to help to change South Africa for the better. It must be an instrument for change. A place where, for instance, the young people must come and say, how do we respond to it?
today's challenges. So we challenge young people to join us as we build the Tabumbegi Presidential Library. Let us take the baton. And as young people today, continue being change agents. We challenge young people. I challenge young people. We challenge young people. I challenge young people too. To buy a brick so we can build together.